Ah, oh, okay. Eh, betul ya. Yoro baru ya. Ini orangnya lor. In some Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand, Indonesia, and Singapore, meat skewers grilled over charcoal are sold as a street snack. This is pork satay with rich flavor from typical spices. It is not difficult for you to find this dish in crowded neighborhoods. It is an important part of street food culture in Southeast Asia. Watch today's video to discover this delicious pork satay dish. Pork satay is a perfect combination of pork and many spices such as lemongrass, dill, turmeric, onions, and garlic, bringing a rich and attractive culinary experience. This dish is now not only the pride of Indonesian people, but also widely loved throughout Southeast Asia's culinary streets. In the pork satay recipe, the quality of pork is the leading factor that determines the flavor of the dish. Choosing cuts of meat with a balanced lean fat ratio, such as tenderloin or shoulder, will help the dish become more tender and delicious. After washing the pork, cut it into small rectangular pieces about 1 fourth inch thin and about 2 inches wide. The pork will then be marinated with a mixture of spices, including purple onion, garlic, ginger, lemongrass, dill, coriander, turmeric, and minced cayenne pepper. Then add fish sauce, lemon juice, soy sauce, brown sugar, and stir well. You should marinate the meat for at least 30 minutes or leave it overnight in the refrigerator to let the spices absorb evenly. After the meat has absorbed the spices, we will begin preparing bamboo or iron skewers about 20 to 30 centimeters long with sharp ends. Skewer the pork pieces into each skewer, about five to six pieces of meat per skewer. Then press the meat pieces together tightly to secure them firmly. Try not to expose any of the skewers, except for the handle which is about 2 inches long at the bottom and the pointed end on top. Repeat these steps with all remaining meat. Next step, prepare a charcoal grill with a stable temperature of about 400 to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, place the meat skewers on the grill and watch carefully, turning evenly so that the meat is golden brown and does not burn. While grilling, remember to pour the sauce evenly on top to keep the meat tender and delicious. Typically, pork will take about 6 to 8 minutes to reach perfect doneness with a golden brown exterior and lightly charred edges. At the time, remove the meat from the grill. The final step is to prepare the typical dipping sauce for the dish. Usually this pork satay dish will use peanut dipping sauce made from coconut milk, peanut butter, curry powder, chili, soy sauce, and sugar. The spice mixture will be boiled over low heat and steered for about 5 minutes. When the sauce is a bit thick, take it out and let it cool. 
pork satay grilled meat skewers are placed on a small plate and kept intact. When enjoying, you can directly hold the meat skewer, dip it in the sauce and start enjoying the unique flavor of the dish. Pork satay grilled skewers conquer diners with a delicate blend of the sweet and fatty taste of the meat and the rich taste of the spices. The dish is often eaten with bread, cucumbers, carrots, pickles, etc. to create the most perfect flavor. Not only is it popular with many people because of its delicious taste, grilled pork satay also helps replenish the body's energy quickly. However, this dish also contains a lot of calories and saturated fat. Therefore, we should eat this dish in moderation to ensure health. Maybe you don't know. The best way to taste the freshness and original sweetness of seafood, other than eating it raw, is to grill it. In Japan, there is a cooking method called robatayaki, or often shortened to robata. Selected fresh seafood is grilled over hot coals in front of diners until the skin is crispy and fragrant before being served directly to diners. It sounds quite simple, but why is this dish so attractive? Join me to find out through today's video. Robatayaki, robata, is a traditional Japanese cooking technique originating from Hokkaido. Authentic robata features skewered meat, vegetables, and seafood cooked over hot coals. There will be a fire placed in the middle and customers will sit around the grill. Like many traditional forms of cooking in Japan, Menu items are decided by the chef and will change seasonally. Popular vegetables include mushrooms, asparagus, onions, and peppers. Meats include chicken, especially thigh meat, as well as beef and pork, along with many different types of seafood such as oysters, scallops, and clams, and some types of fish. In a robotayaki restaurant, the atmosphere and presentation are as important as the quality of the food. Bar stalls are arranged in a horseshoe shape around the open kitchen so customers can see the ingredients and watch their meal being prepared. There are two types of robota restaurants. Some let you grill it yourself, others where the chefs will grill it for you. Each method has its own characteristics for you to experience. Unlike regular grilled dishes, rubatayaki is only grilled with binkutan, a compressed charcoal with no additives or chemicals. To achieve the most perfect rubatayaki, 
we should proceed with the grilling process after the grill has heated to about 1000 degrees. The grill has been prepared when receiving requests from diners. Vegetables will be grilled directly on the grill. For meats and fish, they will be mixed on specialized skewers. After that, spread a little salt and grill it. However, we need to pay attention with those skewers of ingredients. They must always be placed 2 to 3 inches away from the coals to ensure heat balance. When grilling, you need to turn them evenly so that the ingredients reach the right temperature. Perfectly ripe. Both meat and vegetables should be sliced thinly so they cook faster. The fish will be grilled whole. Once completed, we will have a crispy shell and the meat will be succulent, sweet, and rich in flavor. Depending on the ingredients, baking time will vary as soon as they reach the standard level of doneness. The chefs will take them out along with an appropriate dipping sauce and deliver them to the diners. The beauty of rubatayaki is that the grilled meats and vegetables retain their natural flavors. For this reason, meats should never be marinated with too many spices before grilling. Although some dishes may be lightly seasoned or served with additional condiments, Rubatayaki is not only a unique Japanese culinary style, but also brings significant nutritional value. From slices of fish, pork, beef, shrimp to vegetables and mushrooms grilled over coal or charcoal fire, Rubatayaki provides a diverse and balanced nutritional combination. With a perfect combination of natural flavor and nat nutritional value, Rubatayaki is not only a special culinary experience, but also an ideal choice for those who are looking for a delicious meal and are passionate about eating experience. of many people, southern Xinjiang will be the endless Gobi Desert, majestic popular lake, forests and herds of cattle grazing on the steep. This place not only has beautiful scenery but also bashu grilled fish with unique flavor and preparation. More than just a dish, bashu grilled fish is also a long-standing historical story and a deep cultural meaning hidden in each fragrant piece of grilled fish. Join us today to explore and experience the unforgettable flavors of this dish in this video. Bashu grilled fish is made from fresh carp and grass carp, caught from the Red Sea Reservoir. When the snow and ice from Kunlun Mountain melts, the water will be collected by the Yarkan River and led to the reservoir. Therefore, the water quality in the lake is always guaranteed to be clean, helping to nourish the healthiest and freshest fish.
For thousands of years, people here have still made a living by fishing along the river. Which is why the Bashu grilled fish dish was born and maintained to this day. To make Bashu grilled fish, you first need to prepare fresh fish, weighing about 2 to 3 kg. After the fish is thoroughly cleaned and unused parts removed, we will gently cut lengthwise and expand the fish's abdominal cavity to prepare for the next processing steps. To prevent the fish from moving while grilling, gently skew thin wooden sticks horizontally through the fish's body, helping to stabilize and maintain the shape of the fish. Bashu grilled fish is famous for its unique flavor. The secret lies in using red willow branches to grill. We will use a red willow branch about 30 cm longer than the fish and about 1 cm in diameter to fix it along the fish's spine. However, if you don't have a willow branches, you can use a long iron bar or grill to grill fish. Bashu grilled fish is grilled over charcoal, creating an unforgettable attractive aroma. In the past, fish was often arranged and grilled around a fire, forming a semicircle. However, today we can grill them with a more convenient charcoal stove. Before we start grilling the fish, we will sprinkle a little salt on the surface to make the dish more flavorful. During the grilling process, we must constantly observe and adjust to ensure that the grilled fish is evenly heated. You should grill one side first, then flip it over and continue grilling until both sides of the fish are golden brown and crispy. The way to make Bashu grilled fish is also very unique. From the beginning until the fish is cooked, we will occasionally add a little salt, pepper powder, cumin powder and other spices to the surface of the fish. These spices will penetrate, making the fish meat more flavorful and delicious. The fish is grilled over fire so it will take about 1 to 2 hours to complete the dish. When grilled, Bashu grilled fish will be golden in color. The outer shell may be slightly charred but does not affect the flavor of the dish. At that time we will take the fish out of the grill and put it on a plate. Decorate with some raw vegetables and the dish is ready to enjoy. The original Bashu grilled fish dish is prepared in a relatively rudimentary method but ensures absolute hygiene. The fish meat is crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, has an attractive aroma and most importantly does not have a fishy smell. You can feel the unique flavor of fish, red willow and spices in every bite truly unforgettable. There are many ways to enjoy food but you can combine it with some drinks like wine and beer which are great. Bashu grilled fish is a unique delicacy in Xinjiang. 
This is not only a traditional snack, but also one of the dishes that represents local flavour and culture. Besides, the dish also has a very high nutritional value, contributing to nourishing people living around the Red Sea Reservoir. If you have the opportunity to come to Xinjiang, you must definitely try this delicious Bashu grill fish dish, which will definitely bring you a delicious meal. When exploring North Sulawesi, Indonesia, visitors will enjoy coming across unique shops selling dried fish, which is the speciality kakalang fufu, a traditional local smoked tuna dish. With its passionate smoky flavor and eye-catching color, fufu kakalang has conquered the tastes of many diners. This dish is not only a great choice for a gift, but also a testament to the creativity of local people in preserving fish delivering a unique and unforgettable flavor. So how was the kakalang fufu dish conceived? Join me in discovering the secret to preparing a unique dried fish dish in this video. Skipjack tuna, also known as katsuo or ocean tuna, is the most agile member of the tuna family. With elongated bodies, they can swim at high speeds. Adult skipjack tuna can be up to 1 meter long and weigh from 8 to 10 kilograms, with meat accounting for 68% of body weight. They often live in large schools in shallow seas, so catching them is quite easy. Indonesia is one of the countries with the largest skipjack tuna catches in the world. The skipjack tuna fishing season in Indonesia usually starts in July and lasts until November every year. Because of the species' strong reproductive ability, skipjack tuna fishing does not significantly impair the balance of the marine ecosystem. There are many methods of harvesting this type of fish, of which casting nets and fishing are the most suitable options. Fishermen will choose sea areas with many fish to conduct their fishing operations. A special fishing rod is dropped into the sea and the fish are quickly pulled onto the boat, a fishing method that ensures the sustainability of the ecosystem. After being caught, the fish will be immediately cooled and transported to the mainland for processing, thus maintaining their freshness. Immediately after being brought from the sea, tuna will be quickly transported to the processing place. Here, the fish is carefully cleaned, gutted and divided into two halves along the spine. By skillfully cutting off the backbone and tail of the fish, we will get a thick piece of fish with a high meat ratio. The process of preparing kakalang fufu is really simple. First, each piece of fish is firmly fixed to a long bamboo stick that has been prepared in advance. The fish pieces are then gently bent into an arc shape, like graceful hand fans. Next, they are marinated in a special mixture of soda powder, salt, and many other spices to add a rich flavor. At this point, the fish is ready to begin the smoking process.
to get started, the first thing is to prepare a smoking stove of the appropriate size for the amount of fish to be smoked. Normally, indigenous people will use dry coconut shells to burn and create smoke. Charcoal and coconut shells need to be spread evenly underneath the grill so that the smoke and high temperature can cover all the fish that needs to be smoked. It takes about 4 hours for the skipjack tuna to be completely smoked and dried. During this time, check and replenish coconut shells continuously to keep the smoke and temperature stable. When the fish pieces are dry and have a beautiful red color, the Kakalang Fufu fish dish is done and ready to be taken out of the smoker. The fish is then left alone for about two hours to cool naturally, after which it will be packaged, ready for consumption. Properly prepared dried fish can be stored at room temperature for about a month. Kakalang Fufu has a particularly passionate smoky aroma, bringing a unique flavor to each dish. The fish meat is dry and slightly salty, so it is often used as an ingredient for dishes such as potato salad, tinutuan, spicy rice, etc. In addition, Kakalang Fufu can also be reheated or deep fried to serve with rice and dabu, a traditional sambal of Indonesian cuisine. Kakalang Fufu is a rich source of protein, effectively supporting the body's development and growth. In particular, the abundant amount of omega-3 fatty acids in fish plays an essential role in maintaining brain and cardiovascular health, while reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease. Kakalang Fufu is also a source of vitamin B12 and valuable minerals, contributing to comprehensive healthcare. Sambal stingray dish with its distinctive spicy taste and richness of spices has become an undeniable culinary symbol of Singapore. Each piece of sock grilled fish coated with aromatic sambal sauce is the perfect combination of flavor and taste. This is not only delicious food, but also an important part of Singapore's diverse culinary culture attracting the attention of both tourists and locals alike. Is Sambal Stingray worthy of the title of the best dish on Lion Island? Come explore with me in today's video. Rays have wide and flat bodies. They are related to sharks but do not have bones. 
a species famous for its diversity. Hundreds of species of rays have been discovered, with many different sizes and weights, of which the larger species can weigh up to 700 kilograms. Thanks to its body structure of flexible and durable cartilage, stingray meat is not only delicious, but also a rich source of nutrition. Stingrays live in tropical and subtropical waters, and they often come to shallow waters near the shore from March to October every year to feed and breed. This is the time when fishermen can easily catch stingrays. To catch stingrays, people use fishing lines or spears. Although not as commonly caught as seafood like shrimp or regular fish, stingrays still forms a notable part of the fresh seafood menu in Singapore. After being caught, they'll be brought back to the mainland for processing and consumption. Stingray has no bones, so preparing it is quite simple. Buy fresh stingray, wash it and cut it into medium-sized fish pieces. You can leave the skin on the fillets so the fish absorbs the seasoning more easily. Next, you just need to sprinkle a little salt on the fish and let it rest for a while to prepare it to your liking. An extremely important element in the dish is the signature sambal sauce. This is a mixture of spices including brown sugar, fresh chili, galangal root, ginger flour, tamarind juice, castor oil, dried chili, onion, garlic, and some other spices. Although it has many things in common with the famous ikan baka dish in Malaysia and Indonesia, sambal grilled stingray still has its own unique flavors. The delicate blend of spices not only makes the difference, but also affirms the unique class of this dish in culinary culture. All spices will be pureed into a bright red mixture. When cooked in a hot pan with cooking oil, sambal sauce turns into a smooth fatty sauce creating a unique flavor for the dish. Next step, spread prepared fresh banana leaves on the grill or pan. Then lightly spread a layer of cooking oil on the leaf surface. Spread the sauce evenly on the banana leaves before placing the fish on top. Then cover the fish with another layer of sauce the fish should be grilled at a temperature of about 200 degrees Celsius to maintain the tenderness inside the fish. This dish can be grilled for 6 to 10 minutes, depending on the temperature and thickness of the fish. During the grilling process, remember to turn the fish often so that both sides of the fish are cooked evenly and have a delicious golden brown color. When the grilled stingray is done to perfection, you just need to gently remove the fish from the stove. Sprinkle some fresh ginger flowers and thinly sliced onions to add flavor, and the delicious stingray dish is ready to enjoy. Sambal grilled stingray is characterized by the spicy taste of chili peppers, and the rich combination of spices that make diners passionate. When served with hot rice or raw vegetables, this fish dish will definitely deliver an interesting and scrumptious culinary experience. No need to use fancy dipping sauce. This dish retains the most delicious flavor all on its own. With high protein content, this is a dish that provides a great deal of energy for the body. In addition, 
the fats and vitamins in the dish are also very balanced, helping diners enjoy the most delicious taste sensation while still contributing to good health. The recipe for preparing sambal stingray is extremely simple but can still create a delicious and attractive dish. Experience this dish now for a deeper understanding of the unique culinary culture in Singapore.